Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so this this uh, video is going to be a little bit about starting my console project. I found it kind of nice to just change up the project uh, <clears throat> a little bit and work on something different. Fairing and sanding gets really old, you know, just constantly doing that over and over and over. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit about this. So here are plans that I received uh, as part of the package. And this is just kind of a general console layout with some with some dimensions on it so you can get an idea of um, you know what will work in, uh, in the skiff. Now this is not exact to what I did, but I did use this kind of as a floor plan, you know, what you're gonna see here. So I sent the plans out to um, to the local architectural plan print company and got them to print it to scale. This is a top view of it. Uh, so this is pretty much to scale. I scaled it to be about 24 inches wide. I personally like a really big console. Um, I'm a bigger guy and my brothers and dad and everybody else is pretty big. So I wanna be able to, you know, have a good size seat on the front to sit on. You know, so I cut this out um, and then started making a template you know, a template off of this design, uh, just kind of using this as a floor plan. Then you'll see this template right here. Um, so that's just kind of my base right there and it perfectly matches that those planned cutouts. Uh, I really do like the design of this console. It's kind of got like a rounded taper on the sides. I think it just kind of gives it a really custom look. Um, so I decided to, you know, stick with that. Most of the consoles you will see are just straight and it's a lot easier to do straight but i figured this is a custom boat you know and i want to do it the way i want to do it so um i did decide to incorporate those those curves which i think is pretty nice so next i um i started building my frame up so i used that base <clears throat> you know that that base mdf um and then started mocking my frame up i think i used like just some cheap you know, half inch or three quarter inch by two inch board. And I'm just kind of stitching that all together with MDF panels um, as uh, as kind of the base, like for the seat and all of that. And so this is the similar setup to, you know, building the, the hull. Um, you're just essentially building a jig, you know, to your dimensions, and then you're gonna coat it in, um, in foam. Here's a side profile um, of the, of the jig template for the console. Um, now, I'd, I, like I said, I do like a bigger console um, and I did make this much wider, but I made sure to, you know, make it as wide on the top so that I could fit a couple of the like Jim Lux cup holders. Um, and then also have decent depth for a good size chart plotter. Um, so, so, I do like this, you know, this size. It is, it is really wide. Here, here's another shot, and um, you know, it will give me a really good um, size area to put maybe one or two chart plotters or a radio VHF or you know whatever I want to do. Um, you know, so once you get this jig completed, then you can start you know applying applying foam pieces, and and you can use cardboard to. Um, to cut your or templates out to size your foam, you know, your foam properly. Here's a section or a shot from the front. <clears throat> it is a little bit of rough, a little, a little rough, but as long as the dimensions um, of the of the edges are accurate and to scale and are straight, um, then it won't really matter, you know, what you fill the jig with below that foam. It's just kind of holding, holding those, uh, those pieces up so that you get a good base to, you know, put your foam, put your foam on. So, so here you'll see, I'm starting to add my foam panels on. Um, I just took a template, like I showed you how to do that transom on the hull you know, and then <clears throat> laid it out on my foam sheets, my foam coring sheets. Um, so you want to, you know, put those, put those on and I'm screwing those up uh, to the template with drywall screws again. It's pretty much the same process as building that hole. 
Here's a shot from the back. Um, I am filling the and gluing the seams together um, with the foaming Gorilla Glue. Um, I am laying also, I'm, <clears throat> I'm laying some blue tape down so that that Gorilla Glue does not stick to my template and so that it'll pop off of my template pretty easily. Um, so here's a shot of the, uh, the what's going to be the dash area. Um, like I said, it is pretty wide, you know, much wider typically than a normal, you know, technical flat skiff, but I personally just really like a big console. Um, I use Kusa actually on my, um, on my, my dash area. Um, I think it's a good mounting base for hardware and, you know, ele electronics and things like that. Um, you know, so I did use Kusa in those areas, which you can kind of decide, you know, what you want to do. Foam probably would work fine, but I chose Kusa. Uh, on the front, you'll see I did start building a gutter, a little gutter system. Uh, so I'm raising the interior uh, or the interior edge of that front area. I'm, I'm going to make this front area, I believe, just like a double insulated cooler possibly live well i'm not sure how i'm gonna plumb it yet um you know but you can you can pretty easily make a a lip you know with with the foam here's another shot of the back with the kusa you'll see i'm starting to round over my edges i did take a router to the edges and did a half inch um a half inch radius all along the edges because you know, with this, with the mat that I'm going to be using and the cloth, I do need a good radius. So here you're going to see cloth right here, but I have already laid um, a three quarter ounce mat. So I do that three quarter ounce mat first. Um, and I am using polyester resin now. I switched from epoxy over to polyester resin um, on the console. Um, you can use polyester, you know, and then use epoxy on top of that or to like epoxy to attach the whole, the console to to the boat but um, never epoxy and then poly so it's got to always be poly then epoxy never epoxy then poly so here you'll see i've got two layers um, down of cloth over top of my um, over top of my three quarter ounce mat and so this lamination is pretty much done. Um, it is a little rough. I'm gonna have to go in and sand all those pieces off. And once you get, you know, those edges sanded up and knocked down, you know, all those stray um, fiberglass pieces, then you can, you know, start getting ready for your fairing. Um, I, I do like a rough 40 grit sand kind of across the whole thing, just to kind of rough up that fiberglass and rough up that resin. Um, and then start my fairing. So here's a shot of the inside. Um, I pulled it off of the jig. It separated pretty nicely. Uh, some areas did stick a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. You know, so um, it really came off really nice and clean and straight. Um, showing you that, uh, you know, that coos area. And I did do um, kind of a tow rail, uh, but so, here you'll see I started my fairing. I'm using Q-cells and poly, um, polyester resin. Um, this is kind of a little tour of it. Um, you can see this gutter, uh, the front gutter area um, on that front seat. Um, so it's gonna be a nice little gutter. It's got that little, that little lip right there. Um, so it's a gutter all the way around the front seat, which I think is pretty nice. Um, you know, and that fairing is just like kind of rough. So here's a shot of the inside. Um, I'm starting to, I'm starting to template out the, the cooler walls using that balsa wood and just an extra piece of foam that I have. Um, this is the same template um, method as the console, you know, that I showed you before. Um, and it works really well. You can get like a perfectly accurate template. So here you're gonna see the these cooler walls that I've, I've double walled with two sheets of foam. I glued them together with that um, that foaming Gorilla Glue. Um, just kind of double wall all the way around. Uh, on the bottom there, you'll see that it's actually sloped um, and it slopes back. So 
Uh, and this is just a little feature that I think will help drain the cooler naturally when I, if I put a drain in the middle and the back. Um, I want to inside the radiuses so um, of that cooler. So I built a little radius out of some, I think three or four inch PVC that I waxed and used it as a mold. Laid two or three sheets of, um, of uh, cloth on top. And so I'm gonna lay these in. I'm gonna trim them up to fit and then put them in the corners in here and a pot, or glue those in. Um, and then I'll, <clears throat> then I will, um, you know, fiberglass the inside of that. So there'll be like nice sweeping round edges, you know, so here's a, um, here's just kind of a look at the front. You can see that gutter, um, just doing my fairing. The fairing is rough. It needs to be sanded. And I honestly have a lot of fairing to go. Um, just a little bit of a walk around. Um, you can see, I do have a big <clears throat> electronics area and a nice little toe kick down here. I think that's just a really cool, you know, custom feature that I see in some of these consoles. This is an Accelerator 24, I believe. Um, I'm gonna try a Teak Helm Pod. I just think that this is just like a super clean look. You know, so it was my inspiration for, you know, building this big console. It's just like really custom and, you know, I just like the way this looks. Here's another shot of this Accelerator uh, console. Um, you know, I just, to me, that's just so sexy. Um, having that teak helm pod. I might even do a teak toe rail, depending. Uh, so that just looks great. Big, big front chair, cooler combo. Um, that's honestly what I'm just trying to trying to mimic. I love a lot of the features about this boat. It's just really nice with the recessed, recessed speakers you see in the front and all those little custom features. It just kind of gives it like a high-end sport fish feel. Speaking of teak, I just wanted to show this. I am redoing my cousin's rocket launcher. Um, this is the bottom right here, you know, and this is the top area. So the top has been sanded. I've got um, a couple layers of epoxy and now I'm starting my varnishing. It's turning out really good so far, but it's got several, you know, more layers of varnish and sanding and varnish and sanding to go. So. Please subscribe, um, you know, tell your friends about, you know, the channel. If you want to, you know, hear anything more, just let me know. Cheers.